Next one is a brand new music video. Apparently the third single off of this album. It's called Standing Next to You. Let's check it out. Oh. Whenever we get a new song and I just fucking hear that intro. It just, I don't know, man. It gets me excited. All right, we're with the limo, what's going on here? It's a hell of a hat. Tears, man. He outdid himself with this. section. That blew my fucking mind. Holy shit. That was so good. He over delivered on that. I, I, I'm almost speechless on it. I, I, there, we have a new Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Go Jungle Jackson. This is a, this is a new Michael Jackson. He outdid himself. Normally I'm impressed with the views. I'm impressed. 33 million views. That's, that's an absolutely insane achievement. This should have 100 million views right now. This is fantastic. Production level is top notch. It's groovy. It's so catchy. It's engaging. It's dramatic. It's exciting. The vocal texturing and layering is top notch. It does. It leans into that Bruno Mars meets Michael Jackson era with like a twist of his own. I almost, I know this whole album is in English, but I, I kind of almost wish this was in Korean. I wonder if I'll do like a Korean version just to hear that expression in his natural tone and tongue. But that doesn't take anything away from what this is. God dang, that bass line was wet. It was heavy. It was funky. It was dirty. 
the piano, the dramatics, dude. Like, this is awesome. Out of everything I've heard from the, the three singles, this this is my favorite right here. Again, Jim, I don't, I, I fucking love it. I don't know what you, do you, what do you, how do you guys feel about this one? This is, this should blow up. This right here needs to be, I, I, this is one of my favorite tracks I've heard this year from any artist I've done. Any artist I've covered, any song I've heard, this is one of the favorites of the year. And we get it right before the year end. Holy shit, man. I can't wait to hear this one live. This one with a band. Oh, oh, when we get that live band, if we get the same band from iHeartRadio playing this with the horn section, the piano was perfect too, just right there in the root notes, just a touch of sustain because everything is so snappy. You know, in funk music, Everything doesn't have enough, it, nothing, none of the instruments have much dissonance to it. There's no sustain to a lot of it. So when you add like those slight elements of like dramatic atmosphere to it, God damn it hits. Mm. Ooh, that, that, this is uh this is my favorite from the album and I've liked all the songs, you know, 3d, it's still fun. It's catchy. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm not a big fan of the Jack Har Harlow thing, but whatever it, I can get by it. It's not going to taint anything for me. It's just not my, my personal thing, but whatever. I was really worried the rest of the album was going to kind of have that vibe to it, but we, we've gotten some very different textures and tones. And, and, and now I'm actually not even sure where this album is going to be going. I stand by my convictions though. JK has the best possibility to be a breakout crazy artist just on his own outside of bts if somebody didn't know who he was has never heard of bts somehow has never don't know who he is and listen to some of this music they're gonna they're gonna vibe with it <laughs> 